In this film, Omnibus focuses on the work and ideas of photographer Sebastian Salgado. A Brazilian by birth and an economist by training, Salgado is a committed photojournalist. His latest project has been featured in exhibitions across Europe and the United States, with more scheduled for 1994. Also made into a book, the new work is a seven-year study and, in his words, a homage to manual labour throughout the world. Looking at these images, I know what happened several thousand years ago when the Egyptians built the pyramids. I understand what it must have looked like when the Mayas uh, constructed their extraordinary cities. Uh, he brought something biblical to it. He didn't just do a reportage. I remember how this project was born. He was visiting me in New York. A German magazine, Geo, was sending him to Colombia. And he told me then that he was going there, but he had this airline ticket, and he had managed to juggle the airline ticket and was stretching it into more miles that would take him to Brazil. And he wanted to go and photograph this extraordinary gold mine somewhere in the jungle. Um, that was going to close a year later, and he wanted to document it and uh, make sure that there would be photographs. Not that it had never been photographed before. Several photographs had been there and had shot a story on this gold mine in color. But he wanted to go there and do something in black and white. And from that point of view, he's probably right. The black and white adds something. It gives you an idea of thousands and thousands of human beings forced, for whatever reason, to work in a very different world from the one we're accustomed to. When you go today to a store, to a supermarket, you have impression that the good that you get inside the supermarket was produced in the back of the supermarket. You don't have more idea of industries. You don't have yet idea of the plantations of the product. We don't speak more about this. We speak a lot of about service. And uh, this, I hope, with these pictures that I made, to remember that we have yet a big working class, that you are not yet 100% service. Le fax, 
I had the idea to do a story about sugarcane because sugarcane for me was really very important. And I went to shoot sugarcane in Brazil, I shoot in Cuba, and uh, I put together these two stories. Brazil had a big problem to produce oil and was necessary to Brazil to import. And they thought that it was better to produce alcohol for use like fuel in, uh, in consumption in cars. And this big agriculture enterprise uh, that were created to produce alcohol, they begin to buy all land that was good and flat uh, to mechanize and to produce uh, a sugar. These small farms sell this, this, this for good money. But you know, the inflation in Brazil is so high that these small farmers don't know how to use the money. They stay with the money stopped in a bank, and in a few months they lose all their money. And what happens is that these guys that were the owners of the land, in the end came back to their own land to work like proletarians of the fields. They went to live in small towns close to these plantations, and in the morning this big company sent trucks to get to these people. They come to work in the, 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 the sugar cane fields, and uh, they work for months, four months, five months, during the season of sugar cane. sugarcane in Brazil looks like his brother work of sugarcane in Cuba, like they smile, like they sit, like they joke each other. These people were separate from 10,000 kilometers from an ideological wall too, because politically they are completely different one from the other. And uh, in Cuba, the people that work in sugar was considered like a national hero, because the main money that they, the Cuba receive in the uh, exportation come from sugarcane. And that the workers of sugarcane was very well considered, very well respected. Brazilian workers were what you call, the call in Brazil, the boyas free, as that means the people that eat coal. Life is as it ever is, right? Every day you have to get up early, come here and suffer. Next day, the same story, the same routine, right? Every single day, that's it. I call them warriors because in the sense when you see them work, they have big knives where they cut the sugar can, the machete. And uh, that looks like a sword. And uh, the, the way that they fight against the sugar cane is real a fight. It's very hard to work in this job. To cut a sugar cane, you must be very special position to cut then. Sometimes you have uh, snakes, you have animals mixed with all these. Sometimes you cut yourself. Sugarcane is a very violent work. It's very difficult to work. Eu disse de água abaixo pra brigar com tubarão. No lugar que canta galo, é certo que mora gente. Não sei cantar mais que o tempo não dá, companheiro. As mulheres fazem, aqui no Brasil, as mulheres fazem a mesma coisa que os homens fazem. 